Welcome to another advanced demonstration of the smart assembly capabilities in IronCAD. If you recall from our first example, we had set up a piping example to where you can drag and drop components like elbows and other pipes onto uh, an existing pipe for automatic sna smart snap assembly. For example, we'll just drop our elbow out here. We can see that our elbow automatically positions to the nearest attachment point to where I drop and automatically attaches itself to these components. And if you notice in this example, the red end of our elbow connected to both ends of this. And this is due to the anchor being located on our dropping part and our attachment point being near it. So notice if you look at the catalog item, that anchor will be on this red part right next to this attachment point. So it looks for that anchor first and then the attachment point nearest it to automatically align to these components. What if you wanted to actually have the blue end be the one that connects to these attachment points. To do that, let's just get rid of these components. And if we go to our item, you'll see an option on your right-click menu of your attachment points that's called default. If you select that, that means that this will be the default attachment point that will be used when dropping onto components instead of the one nearest the anchor. So if we put this item in our catalog now and drag and drop it out, notice that it will automatically connect to the blue end to this, to this part instead of the red end. You'll also notice that the anchor actually changed location from the red face to the blue face. The reason that happens is if you change your size of your component, it'll automatically maintain the association with that. And that's due to this option under the tools, options. When you enable the smart assembly, you have this reposition and constrain anchor. With that enabled, it does the constraining, and in order to do that, it has to make sure the anchor is on that location where it attaches. So that's how you get that behavior. But you can notice you can change your defaults on these components. This becomes handy when you have a lot of connection points on a part and you want to make sure one by default is the one that comes up on dropping. The user can change that later using another method that we'll show now. In this case, <coughs> I have a couple of attachment points added to my part. I have the one that was on this end, and on this end I actually added four, at one and pointed in each direction on our component. Uh, that's a little bit different than our first one, but it's basically created f four of them here with the same information, same attachment point uh, connecting options. And instead of right-clicking, or sorry, left-clicking and dragging and dropping onto your component, you can actually right-click and drag onto your part. And what this enables is a option for pairing connectors. And if you notice, you can just actually click on this item. Let me move it out of the way a little bit. You can actually see it'll give you all the valid options that are available for this pairing or matching pairing connections. So you can see that this component uh, has two attachment points and then this one has one and then four so you actually have three connection options down here and then you have basically one for each four on the red face, one for each four on the blue face. So you can see the full list here. So you can just toggle through those, decide which one that you want. This is handy in this case and say you wanted to have a piping connection that have different de degrees. So you have a a right angle, a, a up, down, and left. You can decide which one you want on drop and select OK to apply that. So that's a very handy option if you ha want to have multiple connection points on a component and at different angles or different places on here. And especially you know, when you're dragging a drop to get to multiple connector points that are near each other, it's very hard to figure out which one it's going to drop to. So the right click option really gives the user a, an advanced capability of specifying which one. And another option on your right click when you drag and drop these options, there is an op op option for filtering. So if you have a component that has, say this is a, instead of just large N and this is large N, you might have uh, a large male, a large female, or a different name like bottom, top, whatever you have on here. You can actually filter by name, so you can actually minimize the pairing connection inside of here. So if you have multiple names, you can select it. Say I want to look for only the top connectors and then this list will adjust to only show you the ones that are, have the top connection availability. So that makes it much easier to filter down and narrow down your search criteria for attachment points. So this was just in a quick example of some advanced options